1999, Wizards of the Coast, the creators of the Magic the Gathering card game, put out the Pokemon card game in association with Nintendo and Game Freak in America. Uh, everyone knows this. Uh, these are some of the most sought-after cards, uh, including, you know, Pikachu, the starters. Um, these blew up in 2020 during the... Uh, uh, the COVID stuff as everyone was clearing out their, their closets to look for these and uh, the, what is it, uh, Jake Paul or Logan Paul or one of the Pauls that I am not super sure about opened a bunch of cards and, well, these kind of blew up. These resurged in popularity. Uh, but today I want to talk about a different card set from 1999. Um, these... Uh, these are Topps Pokemon cards. Uh, Topps, the only thing I really know them for is the, uh, like, the baseball cards that they make. And these also came out that same, uh, same year, 1999. Uh, I looked at these earlier, and I think, uh, as I was looking at these, there's a date on them. Uh, it says, yeah, 1999. So these came out in 1999. Um... And they're different. They're Pokemon cards that came out the exact same year, but these... I've never heard anyone talk about these. Uh, no one is really, like, selling these or chasing after these or anything these days, I don't think. And I was just kind of wondering why. I mean, yes, they were kind of the... Poke we have McDonald's at home of Pokemon cards. Uh, nowhere near as popular as those, but I think they're still kind of nice. Uh, let's look at one of the hollows, actually. I was doing some research on Bulbapedia to kind of look at these, and, uh, look at that hollow. The hollows look really nice, actually. Um, I was doing a little research to see about when these came out and everything, and it seems like they released in a couple different waves. I'm just gonna, let's finish going through the starters that I have and shuffle through some more of the, these. Um, but they came out in waves, they came out in a couple different sets, and they're way more based off of the TV series than, uh than the trading cards themselves, the, uh, the card game. Um, in fact, if we look on the back, like, let's look at Butterfree. That was a pretty, pretty famous Pokemon from the, uh, the TV show. Uh, here you see a little still from an episode of the show, uh, along with a little synopsis, a little who's that Pokemon game, uh, and it actually, the answer of the card is, well, I guess it gives you the number of what the answer is, number 52. That's Pikachu, definitely. No, it's Meowth. Uh, that's probably a cool one, given that this is TV show focused. Uh, tells you the first appearance, and uh, a little bit of the bio about this Pokemon as well. Uh, let's see if it says about it uh, being released. No, it doesn't say about Butterfree being released. The first time many children cried at a TV show, I would think. Um, but yeah, these are like neat. Ooh, I like this Hollow Beedrill. I always really liked Beedrill. Didn't Beedrill appear in the first episode? No, episode four. It was Spiro that chased Ash down. Uh, but I think these are neat. Um, I have these pretty much in Pokédex order. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show these off because I feel like this is this is something that nobody really ever talks about or uh, posts about. I was trying to look on eBay to find some listings for these. And let's see, so Spiro definitely, yeah. Episode one, Pokémon, I choose you. Um, I did some eBay searches kind of recently uh, for, I guess, some of the more popular ones, Pikachu, Charizard, stuff like that, and the listings seem to be kind of all over the place as far as, uh, ooh, here's a couple Pikachus for you. I have a hollow one I'm going to show off here in a bit. I pulled that one to the side uh, for some special ones. Um, dropped one there. Um... And, you know, I found, like, I searched Charizard, for example, like a, a holographic Charizard. You know, what everybody wants, basically. And it seems, Hollow Knit Arena here. Uh, I found some sold listings for, like, five bucks, six bucks, something like that. And, like, a couple sold listings for, like, close to a hundred or something like that. So these are kind of all over the place. It's kind of really hard to tell how much these are worth, if anything, really. If people are just trying to buy these to spec on them a little bit. Who knows? Clefable. Actually, now that we're here at Clefairy and Clefable, uh, I did pull... I pulled off to the side as I was going through some old Pokemon card stuff. Uh, kind of ones that are interesting and full evolutionary lines that I have in Hollow. So here we have Clefairy and Clefable in Hollow Foil, and they look really nice. I really like the way these things look. Uh, there were a couple runs of these. Um, these are, from what I can tell, these are the original runs as well. 
We've already gone through the starters, but here's a Blastoise hollow for you. Um, I'm going to take a break to dig into this other stack here. So, um, like I said, I mean, I guess I'll get back to that. Uh, these are more of the TV show focused. Uh, they did some for the, the movie as well. I think this is from, actually, I don't know what, Pikachu's Vacation. That was the short that aired before the, uh, um, the first movie, right? Um, so, yeah, TV show, movie stuff, The Temple of Mewtwo. So I guess I got some movie packs for these. Oh, I guess we're upside down. What the heck is that? Uh, I guess that's Mew? Running in the shadows. Oh, yeah, so some, some stills from the TV show. Uh, kind of neat, I guess. What is this one? Is this just a showcase of... Wow, this is different. I don't even know what this is. It doesn't even say Wartortle on it. I mean, it does here on the back, but... E8 of 12. I don't know. That one's weird. Here's a holographic ash with Pikachu. So let's see if it gives a little bio. Oh, no, it's a little picture. It's a little puzzle to put together to make a... Uh, Oh no, this is a Gary Oak. What the heck? <laughs> I guess I, all right, I flipped two over. So I have a Hollow Ash and Gary. Uh, interesting to have both of these in foil. They're a little textured as well. They have some little bumps on them. I think the camera's picking up. Uh, and compared to the non-foil, like, yeah. I like the, uh, the foil a lot better with the texture and everything. Um, yeah, we'll just run through some of the more TV show ones. James, do I have a Jesse? So even some, some Pokemon spotlights from the show itself. So these were all different runs. Uh, from what I can tell, they released like the first batch of the Pokédex in one. They did three batches, basically, to um, release all 151 Pokemon. Okay, so I have more pieces of this puzzle in the back. It looks like you're supposed to like put them together to make a thing. I don't know if I actually can. It looks like there's part of an Articuno right there. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to do so. Um, but they released like the first 60, 70 ish in a set. Then they released a couple more, like 40 more or something. And then the rest of the, uh, you know, first 150. There was no Mew card from what I could tell. I think it ended at Mewtwo. Uh, there's a little TV show Meowth. That's right. There's Je there's Jesse. Misty Star You. Very nice. And uh, yeah, so that's that's about it for the TV show one. So we're just gonna go back to the uh, actual uh, to the actual Pokemon themselves. But yeah, so I just wanted to show these off a little bit because they're they're things I have, and I don't see anybody talking about them. Oop. Fix the camera here. Um, ooh, a little shiny Vulpix looks nice. Uh, according to Bulbapedia, these were sold in each pack contained... I don't think I have a shiny Jigglypuff. That's unfortunate. The eyes are green, though, so I guess that is kind of a shiny, right? Um, I think these were sold in packs of, like, seven cards plus a hollow or eight cards plus a hollow. Not 100% sure. I'm just going to kind of flip through these because I'm kind of running out of things to say about them. Um, but yeah, do you remember these? Were you old enough to be around when these came out? Did you not buy these because of the card game? Uh, frankly, I mean, like, you know, these are purely collector's items, right? Like, there's no game to be played here. But nobody I knew played the card game anyway as a kid. Like, you bought these, you bought the card game to collect the cards anyway. So, I don't know. It's just interesting to me. Poliwag. I don't have a full set of the first 150. It looks like a majority of what I have is in the what was released in that first set. There's a Kadabra, according to Yuri Geller. This Every Kadabra card is going to be worth something someday, right? A uh, little out of order there. There's an Alakazam. Um, but yeah, so as I was going through these, I think right around the time where the first set ends, I kind of run out. Let's see, we're in the 70s. Yeah, and then it jumps to 119. So I must have not bought like any of this, maybe the second set. And we might be picking up with the third set. But I mean, even the additional sets, like they still look the same on the back, you know, a little blurb, except there's no, I'm sure Sea King appeared in the show, right? Oh, I guess there was a Mew card because look, who's that Pokemon? Look on card 151. Sea King was in the show, right? I know Magic, okay, Magikarp was. So there's there's Magikarp in the show, so I'm really sad I don't have a Porygon card to see what it said about it appearing. 
Okay, so even Zapdos, it has an appearance. Oh, there is a Porygon card, but I'm really curious as to what it says about when it appears. For whatever reason, there's a Machop in the back. Because famously, Porygon did not appear in the TV show for a very long time. After that show, was that episode was banned in Japan. But anyway, we're going to save these for last. Uh, the two coolest ones I have in Hollow. Um, Charizard and Pikachu. Um love once again i love the design on these i love how they like catch the light and everything the pokemon themselves like don't have any reflection on them i think these are neat so yeah so as i was saying like do you remember these at all like were these anything that you had did you you know not get any of these have you ever even heard of these i don't know it's just something neat and uh hey hopefully people start to pay attention to these because Hey, with the big stack I have, I would love for these to be worth something someday uh, to unload a couple of these. Anyway, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me Once again, let me know in the comments uh, if you had never heard of these, if you have any of these laying around. What's the coolest one you have if you do? Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time with something else.